everyone, welcome to today's video. So today I've got a testing out W7 makeup. And if you've watched my half high-end, half drugstore makeup looks, then you would have seen a lot of W7 featured. So they're a really cool brand that kind of imitates more expensive brands, but a lot better price. So I'm going to be trying out a bunch of products today and seeing how they compare to the real thing. So I'm going to start off with my eyes and I'm going to be using the W7 Light Diffusing Concealer just to prime. Now I know I always get questions being like, Emily, why do you do your eyes first? That's so weird. And it's just habit. Like when I do a more intense makeup look, I will definitely do my eyes first because that way I won't get any fallout on my foundation. Uh, and won't ruin it, but it's just become a habit and then I've just ended up doing it with like every makeup look But it honestly makes no difference. Just do what suits you so This concealer is really really kind of slippy and silicone-y, but it's really brightening You can probably see this just from like it being on my eye. I don't know if you can tell Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can So for this makeup look I only managed to get hold of three W7 brushes, this is a uh, kind of powder one, we've got a flat shader and we've got a kind of thin eyeshadow brush. So I am going to be using like some of my own brushes just because it's not really a fair test because I use my same brushes every single day so I'm not going to get the same makeup look if I don't use the same brushes but I will be including these as well. So let's move on to eyeshadow, I have two options, I have the Lightly Toasted which is a dupe for the Naked One and I have this Toasted Eyeshadow Palette which is gorgeous but I feel like this is a bit nighttime appropriate so I'm going to go for the Lightly Toasted and I'm just going to do a really really neutral look on my eye for the daytime. So I'm just going to take this white highlight shade out of the eyebrow palette and just set my uh, concealer on my eyelids really quickly because I don't want to not be able to blend, blend, blend my eyeshadow. Oh this brush is really nice in here. So I'm going to use the brush in here with a, with a light brown kind of neutral shade. If you have the um, naked palette then I'm sure you'll be able to compare. Oh wow that's really really pigmented. My gosh I was expecting that to be nothing. That's why I put so much on my brush. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and do some serious blending. <laughs> my gosh, that's shocking. This is actually a much nicer shade than the one in the Naked palette. I find it too orangey, but not orange enough to be like orange like peanut butter out of one of the Too Faced palettes. But this is gorgeous. This is like more brown. Isn't it comparable to Buck? I believe it's Buck in the Naked One palette. I don't know why my voice is so croaky today. Strange. It blends out really easily, but it's like still there. You can still see it. That's the main thing. It doesn't just brush away. And as this is a daytime look, I'm really simply going to take the lightest, lightest, lightest colour here, which is called Teddy Bear, and I'm going to put this on the inner third of my eye. So I'm just going to pack this on. Actually, I'm going to use the flat shader for this, just because I feel like it'll give me exactly what I want. <laughs> the brushes are so soft. Oh yeah. This is my very super average daytime look that I always wear on my eyes. So I do have some eyeliner to put on, I'm not actually going to wing it out. I'm very impressed with this eyeshadow. So this is the Eye Eye Captain, very black liquid liner, so I'm not going to wing it out. I'm just going to line my eyes, just to add a little bit of definition. Wow, that was very liquid. So this is a hard kind of brush. Oh, I don't want to ruin my curly lashes. Okay, so it's applying really nicely. It just smells a bit funny, like really funny. But it's applied really evenly, which is surprising for me. But I really like it so far. This is definitely my bad eyeliner eye. Let me know down below in the comments which one is your bad eyeliner eye. This is, and my mascara eye. Bad. Very bad. <laughs> so this eye is slightly more uneven, but still, I still think it looks really pretty. Uh, I'm really impressed with that eyeliner. I, I'm going to see how it lasts over the day, but I will 100% be using that again if it lasts and stays this black and doesn't flake off. That's important. I've got a cup of tea here and I rarely drink tea anymore, but this is so good. So I'm going to move straight on to brows before I do my lashes, just why not? So I'm going to use this brow kit, which is the Brow Parlor, the Complete Brow Grooming Kit. And it is a powder one, there is a wax in there to kind of set your brows. 
and I'm gonna be using the little brush that comes in it because I was unprepared and forgot a brow brush again, just like I did when I went to Rio. Okay, so I'm gonna take the lighter shade here and this is probably gonna be so warm. It's warm, it's not terrible. Yeah, it's really warm. Let's try the darker one. Okay, what do you think? This is my good brow, so this one's probably gonna look fine, but now I've gotta try and match the other one. Ah! They're completely different shapes at the minute, just because of how they're growing, and I'm trying to grow them out, but then they look ugly, so I have to wax them, but then they're still in the bad shape. So let's move on to some mascara. So I've got the Argan Eyes W7. Now this is very similar to another brand that you can probably think of, which has an Argan Oil mascara. Oh, the brush is very similar too. So if you don't wanna pay full price, try this one out. So I'm just gonna kind of zigzag it through my lashes. Now it has transferred onto my lid, um, which sucks. But is that my application or is that the brush? You decide. And these are the finished eyes. So I'm gonna move straight onto face, because I'm running out of time. I'm getting ready to go out. <laughs> So I have a primer here, this is the Prime Magic Camera Ready Anti-Redness Primer. Now I don't have a ton of redness, but I do have some spots at the minute, so I'm going to go with this anyway. Ooh, pop this on my skin. Oh, this is very slippery and silicone-y. Feels like Maybelline baby skin, but it's green. And then I'm going to go straight in under the eyes with some concealer. I'm not actually going to be using foundation today, so we're going to be doing my everyday summer look but with the W7 products which involves no foundation. This concealer doesn't come out very easily, you have to twist and twist and twist. It's quite pinky which I like for highlighting, so it's awesome. Then I'm just going to blend it in with my beauty blender. Okay, so it's blending really nicely, like it's not just sitting there, it's actually blending. So, I'm going to grab the little kind of pencil brush and grab some product and just highlight under my brow bone a little bit. Just because I feel like when I'm not wearing foundation I never feel like my makeup looks completely polished so doing little steps like this for me really tie everything together. So of course I'm gonna have to set that powder. I'm gonna use the Banana Dreams loose powder from of course W7 and I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, that's what the name is, and set this under my eyes like I do every day with all my powders. Oh this seems to have like uh like thread in it. Weird. Oh wow, that's very yellow. Okay, we're just gonna go with it. And then whilst that's doing its thing, I'm going to cream contour with the W7 Makeup and Glow Bronzing Base. So this can either be used as a cream contour or you can just pop it on under your foundation like a bronzing primer. Uh, they're very versatile and they're very good. This is a very nice colour as well, I don't know if you can see. It's quite warm, but not orange. I apologise for my voice so much. I can just hear myself talking and it's like, Egh. So I can see some redness on my skin here. I don't think the primer's actually done much, which kind of sucks. So I'm just gonna grab a light dusting of that banana powder on the, my big powder brush, tap off the excess so it doesn't go everywhere, and just dust the rest of my face. And dust this off. So I'm going to bronze up a little bit with my Honolulu bronzer, which looks very similar to another bronzer by another brand. <laughs> Ooh, the brush is very similar as well. Oh, this is quite sturdy. I like this. Okay. So of course, going to do a little bit of blush. This is the Cheeky Chaps Multi Blush. This is quite a vibrant, sparkly one. So I'm going to do it on my bronzer brush, just so it's not too pink. Wow, that's shiny. Okay, that's not pink at all, it's just shiny. It's just shimmery. So that is a no. That is just shimmery, it's just sparkly, there's no pink. And then, of course, what are we missing? We're missing highlighter, and we have to do highlighter. So I'm gonna be using the W7 Hollywood uh, Bronze and Glow Kit, and I'm just gonna use the glow shade. So I'm just gonna take this brown shade out of my eyebrow palette and just drag some under my eyes. You can use any brown, but I'm being lazy and just using the one I have in my hand. And of course, I'm gonna apply some lower lash line mascara. This might be a task with this massive brush. 
Okay, that didn't go too bad. There's not too much under my eyes. And finally, I've got a lip product. This is the Mega Matte Lips in a very neutral shade. This looks very comparable to the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Just gonna say it. Oh, it's quite moussey. This is very orange. Oh, it smells good. It smells like Kylie Cosmetics lip products. And this is the final look with W7 products. So, I believe everything here was under around £5, £7, which is insane. I will link all the products down below with the prices as well, just so you know, because they are very random prices, and it depends on how much they are as to where you get them from. So, I will link them all below, mainly on Amazon, just so they're easy to get. But, I'm really happy with this. Like, out of all the testing makeups I've done so far, this has been the most successful. I really like the concealer, that was a lovely consistency. And the banana powder was brilliant, and it actually had pigment to it and was, like, banana colour, which is brilliant. Uh, yeah, the brushes were super soft. This Honolulu bronzer is very comparable to uh, Ula by Benefit. So if you don't want to splash out the money on that, check this out. And then this lip colour smells like Cardi Cosmetics so much. Not that it makes a difference to the quality of it, but it smells like it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you so very soon. Bye!